run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked! They, they took her to Gormerius Hospital! Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please! Of course, let's go. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Graz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and schooling inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You were aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. A brazier. This time of year? Man's footprint. The murderers, maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. This was no ordinary attack. No robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind. And not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week, a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner cell it is new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Boy, fucking hell, what was that for? For everything. I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. <coughs> but you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh... Pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. The quicker we take care of this, the better. Geralt, right? Glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. 
Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturb me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Let's start. Gladly. First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. Achievable with horrors in a lot of ways. Many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims. I know how they end. You don't stop. Not unless someone gets in your way. Like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. The killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage. and... What's this? You killed Fabian Meyer. Patricia Vagelbud, and he, many others. He ran out the other door! Catch him! Bollocks! You're mistaken, vagrant. on Patricia's body led me here to crippled Kate's to sweet Nettie if you didn't leave it who did I don't know but I see we must talk calmly who knew you'd be here strangely enough I don't announce these outings far and wide there's but one man who that, that's impossible he treats even corpses with kid gloves the coroner got a reason for killing a reason to torture Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism is rather obvious. The killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets for those who are blind to the fire, then opened the rib cage. And... What's this? The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that. Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them in a manner they'd be certain to notice. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A Trebirates for whom nothing was sacred, nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them, scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm hmm But I'm pretty good with a sword. Pretty good.
Thank you, Gal. From me and Priscilla. Don't mention it. Nothing a friend wouldn't do. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Calendar. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. 